Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Welcome to your five card draw. What do I need read for this new moon in Cancer? Uh, waxing to the full moon in Aquarius. I am your reader, Mark Angela Lyons, <laughs> professional witch, professional intuitive, president of Drawing the Circle Productions since 1998, the Archangel of Lyons, Mark Angela Lyons, but you can call me Mal. Hey, my mountain goats, how are you? Uh, last reading of the day. We'll do the last two tomorrow, uh, which is actually the day of the new moon in Cancer. So very, very happy. I took a lovely little nap, did a prayer, made another cup of coffee. So uh, I could really just, whew, just come right into this read. Very, very happy to do so. We are doing a five card draw one card from five different decks we got four oracles and one healing system here to get you the clues tips and hints you need what do i need read for uh, a specific timeline in this case a waxing moon read the new moon in cancer uh july 9th friday july 9th 9 17 p.m waxing to the full Moon in Aquarius, also on a Friday, uh, July 23rd, 10.37 p.m., because I'm a New Yorker, and please don't make me do math. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, you know, standard YouTube rules apply, right? Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Check your other signs to get more information, perhaps, about what we're about to see here that you might need to know about, or maybe something else completely uh, different. Um, oh, right. This is also for the magically inclined. You know who you are. Just ask a witch. Uh, that's what it says on my t-shirt. Uh, uh, in case you are magically inclined, this is also what has been come to be called a spell kit reading because these five decks of cards, uh, aside from being consecrated uh, and dedicated to different pantheons of the divine, to which I am intricately contracted to do this work with and have my whole life, uh, also represent the five magical elements fire, earth, air, water, spirit. You put that together, you get yourself a pretty powerful spell. But, you know, intention work, prayer work, visualization, and, you know, whatever it is that you do uh, to tell the universe what you want, as though it didn't know, but to bring yourself into alignment with it, uh, this will certainly be helpful. Uh, other than that, all the decks that I read are always in the bottom of the description box, along with other links. My book, is down there, the, the Kindle link, $9.99 US dollars for Words of Grace uh, from a professional witch. Really loved writing that book, even though I went through hell. It was what inspired writing that book was going through hell. Uh, so a lot of people are using it as a prayer book. If you haven't checked it out, you can at least go preview it. And you don't need Kindle anymore to get something on Kindle. You get the free and Kindle app and it's done. Um, other than that, uh, both feet on the floor, if you can, focus on your breath, if you will. Oh, yeah, and if you want to book me for something, look, you never have to worry about Mark Angela Lyons, Mel, for short, like, messaging anybody in a comment section about if you want a personal read. No, you reach out to me. It's that simple. Facebook, Mark Angela Lyons, Holbrook, New York. Uh, Twitter at profwitch at p r o f w i t c h on Twitter and Mark Angelo Lyons on Instagram. Of course, all the links are in the description box. I'm a Virgo. I'm a fellow Earth sign. My T's are crossed and my eyes are dotted. All right, is that enough? Are, are we good? I think I've explained myself and what's about to happen enough. Let's do this. Please take a nice deep breath. Because we're going to start with the magical spell cottage by Lucy Cavendish. I would love to meet her. I have no idea what she looks like. But that name, Lucy Cavendish, is just so Scottish. And if it's not Scottish, it's crap. So uh, let's have some fun with this. Please take a nice deep breath. One more time. Hmm. Okay. I call upon the ancestors of magic miracles and mysticism please one card to represent the element of fire their will their desire what they yearn for what they burn for this capricorn collective sun moon rising venus sign watching this video receiving this reading what is their magical spell card that they need to help focus their intention right uh this New moon in Cancer, then waxing to full in Aquarius. Friendship! Friendship! That's a perfect blendship. You da 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 dig dig dig. Now, who just got this? 
Let's see, creativity, good cheer, grace, a Scorpio got this. No, oh, no, I stand corrected. Virgo got this. <laughs> Are we friends? Can we be friends? Well, friend me on Facebook. I'm here. Friend me wherever you want. <laughs> I'll play the social media game as needed. Uh, bring to me friendship true. Sharing, laughter, understanding too. Lovely. That's your element of fire. Really, everything else is going to help clarify and add to that. So, you know, I've said it, I think, thousands of times before. My friends have saved my ass more than any lover ever did, right? And now, like, as my parents are older, and we, you know, it's, yeah, is there a parental bond there? Sure. But it's been very, very friendly. I mean, even my brothers, my brothers, my sister and I, more friendly, right, than, than that weird parental thing now that we're all groated it up, right? So, you know, cast for that. What a lovely, lovely thing as well. Yeah, I'm also getting here that it's also about being friendly with yourself, right? Sharing laughter and understanding, too. That feels lovely for the Capricorns. Essentially, the Eeyores of the uh, the Zodiac. But like I said, I, I would. I would marry uh, a Capricorn should I ever get around to meeting one <laughs> that can make it to the Witch's Castle and get me to lower the drawbridge, as it were. Uh, so let's, uh, let's get an element of Earth here on the table, the Crystal Oracle. Tony Carmine Salerno, the voice... That's interesting. I just saw a blue jay take a little piece of cat food because I feed the ferals right, from the bowl and fly away. And uh, uh, you can look it up yourself. Blue jays, at least according to um, Ted Andrews and Animal Speak, it's a classic. Uh, the royal use of power. Let's see what that plays into it. Because birds come and go. That just caught my eye. Breathe. As I call to my beloved Archangel Ariel. Archangel of the North, powers of Earth. Uh, Angel of Nature, the Archangel of Lions, please. One card in clarity for uh, my beloved Capricorn Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video, receiving this reading. Now, the, the last time that friendship card came up, there were other cards in that Virgo read that really made it look like it could be friends with benefits. But let's see what you got here for us, Archangel Ariel. Say, what have you got there for this Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? I'm watching this video. Receiving this reading to ground, to focus, to bring into manifestation this element of fire that they want, whether it's the message in the bookie book that I will read, you know, because I can't memorize all that, uh, or if it's the stone that they might have or the stone they may, might want, that's the part of the general read for them. So what's their element of earth for this uh new moon in Cancer waxing to full in Aquarius. Please leave it in my hand. Ooh, sodalite. This has not come up in a while. I like sodalite. Um, sodalite and lapis look somewhat similar, uh, but not really if you're familiar with it. Uh, you can always tell lapis lazuli has uh, iron pyrite, fool's gold in it. Sodalite does not. It also has m uh, much more white inclusions than lapis usually does. I was in the business. <laughs> I was in the gem and mineral business uh, through New Age Retail. Never again the retail times. I did my time in New Age Retail. There's actually a chapter in my book. Uh, not Words of Grace, my autobiography that I'm working on. Uh, so delight. Your keywords, intuition, perception, meditation, calm, strength, and determination. Now, I got to say, just saying those words, it clicks in. Calm, strength, determination, very, very Capricorn, at least on the outside, right? You know, uh, but intuition, perception, perception is not always truth. Uh, the sun does not really rise in the east and set in the west. The planet turns, right? Keep your calm, for this will help strengthen your determination to quietly pursue your dreams. All right, you got, nobody else needs to know what your dreams are that you're working on them, right? Set aside a little time each day to meditate and reflect on all that you wish to create in your life. Be guided by what you instinctively feel in your heart and trust your intuition. For in doing so, you will draw to you all that is necessary for you to create that which your heart so desires. And that might very well be friendships. You know, people that you can trust and rely upon and be vulnerable and share your dreams with. Uh, at the same time, let go of rigidly fixed expectations or time frames 
And really, you know, we're talking to Capricorns, right? <laughs> Earth signs in general aren't good at that. And trust that your dreams may manifest in ways that you have not yet imagined. Well, I mean, the divine plan really does unfold in ways that we can't see coming. And apparently, at least according to Matt Kahn, and I've had glimpses of this too, uh, spiritual teacher Matt Kahn reusing his uh, deck last card down, um, that it's better, that the divine, the divine plan is better than anything we can think of. And that's why envisioning and visualizing and casting is and fine is all of that. It's like we're participating. But what is actually written for us in the divine plan, and it's quantum, wantum, timey, wimey, wibbly, wobbly, right? All these different quantum lanes we can go on. We're not in control of the game, but we do have free will in the present moment, right? Choose fear or love every second. That's really the T. This card is a positive confirmation. Keep the dream alive. Keep the dream alive. So that persistence... Uh, that I really feel here. Strength, determination, calm, meditation, perception, and intuition about making your dreams come true. You know, they're, they're, I don't share my dreams with people. I'm a very social person, but I'm a Virgo sun with a Pisces moon. Yeah, I can keep a secret. Learned the, learned to did the hard way. Do not hand your bubble to bubble poppers, right? So, to bring you friendship true, right? Not just <laughs> you got nothing to lose when <laughs> you don't lose when you lose fake friends. Thank you, Joan Jett, wherever you are. Right? Bring to me friendship to sharing laughter, understanding too, with a lovely piece of sodalite. I'm sure I have a piece around the house somewhere. Uh, uh, lovely stone, not that terribly expensive. Certainly should be less expensive than lapis lazuli. Moving on to the element of air. <laughs> The element of air, healing with the angels oracle. Uh, we're going to talk to the angels and archangels of Earth to find out what are the the ones you need to think about, right? Element of air to feed the fire, right? The healing angels for you to read about, think about, pray, meditate, whatever it is you do, you do you breathe. Hmm. Big collective of Capricorns here. Please, my uh, beloved angels and archangels of Earth and the sign of Capricorn, the Aerialites, the Uriolites, and the Oriolites, please. Uh, one card in clarity for the element of air uh, for this Capricorn collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign watching this video, receiving this reading. Uh, who are the healing angels, right? There's so many different legions of healing angels that are just waiting to rush in. The call always has to come from us, right? We have to let them in. So please, uh, who's their element of air? This new moon in Capricorn waxing too full in Aquarius. Friendship. No shit. Can you see that? Like, there's the word French, French, French. It's the perfect friendship. Yeah, okay. So the healing angels of friendship uh, certainly talk to them, right? I, I kind of get the feeling like petition magic would be easy for you. It's very easy. You just write down the qualities of what you think true friendship is on the new moon. Torch it. <laughs> Someplace safe, somehow safe. And uh, let it go. Let it go into the air. I do know that, like I said, my friends have certainly saved my ass and helped me heal. Usually soulmates or um, friendships or soulmate contract. Let's not get into twin flame soulmate right now. Right? But that you help each other heal. Um, so, you know, I would certainly call in the healing angels of friendship if you are casting and tending whatever it is that you do. And you can get a piece of sodalite, which... Honestly, the traditional thing of sodalite, it is a, calm, uh, a, a stone of calm, right? As it said, peace, like very throat chakra, depending on the color, throat chakra, third eye. But one that is also I've seen over and over uh, used for world peace, right? Like, because it has sort of that uh, image on it. The, the look of it is sort of like planet Earth uh, from a distance. <laughs> Earth looks blue and green and the snow-capped mountains white. Bet Midler, white courtesy telephone. Let's keep going. What's your element of a water? Uh, uh, right? Because the water is imp and a very important part of spell work, I'll say. Like, I always get about first season of Charmed, like the, the first the first series, first season of Charmed, right? Power of three will set us free. It's like, come on, girls. <laughs> up a notch. Power three. <laughs> That's great, right? A little emotion. Energy in motion. Breathe. 
Mm. Oh, oh, okay. Higher selves of all involved, fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above. Yeah, this is a soul contract read, isn't it? Right? With friendships. Well, soulmates, twin flames can be friends too. Matt Kahn's definition, not going into it now. Go watch the soulmate reads I did. Link in the description box, a preface to those soulmate reads, about a 12, 13 minute video I did. Well, lots of stuff on my channel if you want to go look for it. Uh, <laughs> So please, higher selves of all involved, uh, what is the element of water, the whisper of love, the piece of information, inspiration, or insight most needed for the Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs watching this video? Receiving this reading with friendship and fire. <laughs> it's friendly fire. Uh, so light in earth. Uh, friendship, angels healing them in the element of air. What is their element of water then? That's two cards. Yeah, it's a little humid in here. Please, We're, this feels important. Please, 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 for the Capricorns, what is their whisper of love, this new moon in Cancer, to full in Aquarius? There we go. Slow down. Slow down. Now, I say this all the time. Capricorn is the sign of slow and steady wins the race. It's cardinal Earth, creative Earth. Well, a mountain isn't made overnight, nor is one climbed uh, in a day. Well, depending on the mountain, right? <laughs> you know, it's done in stages, right? And, and you climb a little bit, and then you plateau, and you rest. And you climb a little bit, and then you plateau. And rest. <laughs> Can you tell I was raised by a nursery school teacher? You should see me with puppets, because everybody loves puppets. Uh, slow down. When you are excited, you get ahead of yourself. Take some time to allow things to unfold, and I think that has a lot to do with what your element of Earth here is about, right? Perceptions that particularly, I know how excited I get when I start collaborating with somebody. All that genius energy bouncing from third eye to third eye. Um, and, uh, well, is it better to burn out than fade away? <laughs> but I don't know, to each their own with that, but certainly to slow it down emotionally, right? Not to repress, but also not to explode either. And I, I feel like I'm talking, I feel like higher selves, I'm talking to a Capricorn here, uh, they usually don't rush into things, right? Because fools rush in where Capricorns take their time to tread. Let's not say fear to tread. Um, but it does feel like if there are um, new friends coming in, that, you know, slow your roll, right? You don't have to, like, dash out into the world. Uh, but what is that about? Like, what is that about emotionally? Like, just tuning to it, it might be that you've been recently burnt by some people who said they were friends and weren't. And it feels really, really, oh, that's why the healing angels of friendship and why you want the new ones to come in. Right. Uh, because your perceptions of things might not have been totally accurate or vice versa. Right. You might have seen them as uh, lifelong and maybe they were just there for a reason or a season if not a lifetime, because Capricorns do like that long-term stuff. Um, and as a Virgo, I, I uh, am down with that too. Um, but people come and go from your life as according to the divine plan, and you're not going to like it. But to slow down and say, you know what, this is great. I'm really liking this. I want to bring these new people into my life, but I don't need to push it. <laughs> push it real good. Sorry. <laughs> the constant DJ in my head by the name of Hermes. <laughs> No, I don't have a brain tumor. <laughs> I'm clear on it, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. So slow down, which is, I don't know, sort of like telling a Gemini to hurry up. <laughs> Let's get your last card on the table. As I said, Matt Kahn, brilliant, brilliant spiritual teacher, Hay House author. Just adore his YouTube channel, Matt Kahn, all for love. Uh, dedicating this to, uh, is already dedicated to the Ascended Masters. We're going to go Ascended Masters, a soulmate contract here. Because the slowdown is what gives me the, I mean, it's certainly Capricorn energy. But, um, you know, there are some heart's desires in play here. So that could even be, as you might be very excited to share your dreams with people. But, you know, you can slow down on that, particularly if you're feeling yourself a little overexcited, right? Pay attention to your intuition and maybe not the up here intuition, but the down here intuition. You ask your second chakra, 
am I ready to share this with this person? And is this person ready to hear it? And your second chakra will usually go, <laughs> pay attention and act accordingly. Earth signs. All right, here we go. Breathe. Just passing around my crown chakra like it's open mic night. <sighs> Uh, the Ascended Masters of Soul Contracts, please. One card in clarity for the Capricorn Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I'm watching this video. Receiving this uh, reading, it feels like there's some real healing and friendships going on here. So what is their healing mantra that would be most helpful? So they cast for friendship, right? Uh, bring to them friendship true sharing laughter understanding too with that sodalite that meditation that intuition that calm that determination certainly uh with the healing angels of friendship at hand there to kind of help them heal from old friendship wounds false friend wounds as well as prepare them for healthier friendship relationships with the higher selves talk about slowing down because when they are excited they get ahead of themselves take some time and allow things to unfold in these new friendships coming in or perhaps old friendships coming around. I believe uh, Saturn is still retrograde. I believe practically everything is still retrograde right now. Um, so there might be some comebacks uh, along the way, come arounds uh, around the bend. So what is their perfect healing mantra that they cast for all of this and then they can feed the spell and help themselves heal into this, this uh, new moon in Capricorn? Waxing to full in Aquarius. Embracing worthiness. I feel, I feel, <laughs> I feel ev uh, worthiness filling every cell of my body, and it feels amazing. This is all about you embracing your own worthiness. Now, look, it is hard when you are in friendship relationships, particularly sometimes work friends, right? People who don't know you know you, but you know you figure, hey, we have a common bond, and uh, something goes awry, right? Where you might be questioning your own worth or they might have questioned your worth this can be an incredibly powerful healing mantra i've done it myself i've had this deck for about a year and a half now i know them all by heart and i will read this from the bookie book um i feel worthiness filling every cell of my body and it feels amazing though i'm gonna go with that slow down take your time with it do it daily from uh, new to full because it took about a week for me to actually get the tinglies on it. The tinglies. That doesn't sound right. But you know what I mean, don't you? Fellow Earth signs embracing worthiness. I feel worthiness filling every my cell. And it feels amazing. The Thorgy Thor uh, mantra. Uh, when worthiness dawns, you know that life has a bigger plan in store. Which is true. Which is true. Tenth house Capricorn is highest potential, and if any of, us, any of us knew our true highest potential, we'd run and hide, right? That's why slow and steady wins the race. Uh, you are able to navigate the highs and lows of each moment, aware of a greater cosmic force at play. The divine plan angels and all that. Uh, worthiness grants you permission to honor all that you are and moves you in the direction that fulfills your deepest passions. And that's the thing. Your heart's desires are probably your passions, right? What are, uh, what makes something a heart's desire? Something that no matter what you do, it's still there, right? And that can very much be a passion. But again, sharing that with people is a delicate thing, right? Uh, particularly if you just met them and they may be spilling their guts, but that doesn't mean you have to with that slow down. This is about you embracing your uh, inherent worth. This mantra is ideal for feeling more joy, rock and roll, uh, working through creative blocks, if that's there for you, and helping the body heal. And why wouldn't it, right? To tell the body you are worthy as you are. See, we're not the body. We're just not. We are spirits. We are souls that play roles in these lovely time-space suits called meat bodies <laughs> incarnation, like carne meat. Um, so you're meeting up <laughs> with some new friends, or at least casting for it, and some people who really have your back. Um, but let them come to you, at least for now. Slow down and watch things unfold. Hmm. Pretty clear-cut read. I mean, you got a double whammy of uh, earth and air there. Sorry, fire and air. Complementary uh, elements there with friendship. Oh, 
How could I forget? <clears throat> Lesson chords. <laughs> oh yeah, no, my hair is just a little humidified right now. Please take a nice deep breath. <laughs> As I call to my collective pantheons of angels, archangels, goddesses, gods, ascended masters, and the higher selves of all involved, please. May the Capricorn Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, watching this video, receiving this reading, be blessed with all that they need this new moon in Cancer to full in Aquarius, which is very much about friendships, by the way. Uh, that they can embrace their own worthiness, uh, to feel their worthiness filling every cell of their bodies so it feels amazing. <coughs> and that they might need to slow down, right? Just emotionally, to just be with them themselves, to watch things unfold, unfold right? Because when they get excited, they get ahead of themselves. Slow their roll a little bit as they're working with the healing angels of friendship to help them promote and create and draw to themselves over this waxing moon, certainly uh, more healthy friendship relationships as well as healing them perhaps from past ones uh, with the energy of sodalite, that peace, that determination, that perception, that clarity, and really their determination that their heart's desires can manifest right now, particularly in friendly ways, as they cast for Cast for and tend for what have you for friendship. Bring to them friendship true. Sharing, laughter, understanding too. For the well-being of all and with harm to none. As we will it, so let it be done. So motivate. And so it is. Wait for it. And go. Do 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 do. Maybe someday I'll stop doing that. But that music was created for Drawing the Circle Productions. So I'm sticking with it, right? Lovely read. Did you like it? Thumbs up. You want more? Subscribe. I'm fun. I'm accurate. And I'm fun, which is a nice combo. Usually it's one or the other. Uh, and if you want to book me for a reading, by all means, find me on Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook. Slide into my DMs. I'll do the best I can. You can try emailing me at drawingthecircle at gmail.com. But uh, the spam, the spam, right? Every day, hundreds and hundreds. It takes me a while to claw through them. Uh, by all means, interested in my book, Words of Grace, please go check it out. You can go preview it for free uh, on Kindle. Um, otherwise, a lovely, lovely read. And you know what? You are worthy. Not just of all uh, it, it, worthiness filling every cell of your body, and it feels amazing. But you guys are so um, the long haul. You're known for it. You're known for the long haul thing. The nobility, the reliability, the constancy. So hang in there and let them come to you. Let them show you their inherent worth before you, you know, rush into anything here. I mean, acquaintances come and go, but friends, real friends, very, very hard to find. So cast for it. It feels like it's lining up for you. Anyway, wishing you all the very best and the very blessed of this new moon in Cancer, waxing too full in Aquarius, my beloved Capricorns, hail, God, farewell, and blessed, blessed be.